Hello everybody, uh, it's me, uh, Jamie from Formula Fanboy. I just wanted to make another one of these videos. i kind of been doing this more frequently now, but I figured, hey, I overhauled the YouTube channel for a reason, right? So, might as well take advantage of that, even though I know nobody is truly watching these videos other than me in the future. So, um, uh, I just kind of, it hasn't been too long since the last one of these that I made. Uh, but a few developments have been made. Um, in, in regards to everything. Uh, so basically, uh, Blood Knuckle 2. It is definitely underway. The vast majority of the the, the game is done. Uh, 19 out of the intended 25 levels are currently finished. And uh, to be completely honest, you might as well call it 20. Because one of those levels isn't really a level. It's kind of just like a, a sequence of events. Like you, you go, you do like one thing. And then there, like, there's basically a big dialogue sort of exposition dump after that. Um, so pretty much for all intents and purposes, you might as well say that 20 out of the 25 levels are done. Uh, there's one level that I actively have to wait until all the other levels are done in order to create it, at least in order to create all of it, and that's the final level. Um, and aside from that, uh, there's really just one or two levels right now that I'm kind of stuck on. I don't really know uh, what to do for them. I sort of have an idea, uh, but it's just not very fleshed out. And for one of them, I'm thinking I might just reboot the entire idea uh, altogether. Uh, also, voice acting. Uh, so in my last video, I gave the update that uh, Titanet's voice actor, in case you don't know, that's the main. Uh, she's the main protagonist in the Blood Knuckle series. Uh, that that I have officially gotten a voice actor, or I, I guess a voice actress. Uh, for that character, and uh, back then I really only had like a few sort of, I called them informal audition lines because uh, I didn't really, I didn't really have audition lines. I, I kind of just found uh, an actress uh, on casting call club. I just kind of found them out of nowhere. They they're just their page was just recommended to me, and also the de their demo reel, and I was like, oh, this sounds like it'd be a good, good fit. So I messaged them directly. Uh, they responded way sooner than I thought they were going to. Like within seconds, and, uh, and, and so I kind of, you know, just really quickly wrote up uh, some lines for them to read, and that was pretty much where that was last time I talked about it. Um, as of now, they have sent me the rest of their lines, so pretty much every voice line that she has in the game, except for, like, literally two that I, that I just need her to re-record because she, uh, she pronounced uh, one of the characters' names wrong, uh, Pretty much everything is already recorded for her character, and uh, most of it is, like, like the vast majority of it is already coded in the game. Pretty much the, the only ones that aren't coded in the game uh, are for levels that haven't been coded themselves yet, so uh, so obviously <laughs> uh, be be a little difficult to do that. Um, but I have gone into Audacity, and I have pretty much segmented all of her lines and exported them as, you know, individual audio files. Uh, and it's going to be very crisp, it's going to be very HD. Um, most of my games up until now have had compressed audio. In fact, all of them have. Uh, Banana Ring had one or two songs in it that I decided should be uncompressed for the final version, and it's really not that noticeable unless you're wearing headphones. But um, up until now, all of my games, they, this really helps with saving on file size, uh, have basically had like compressed music, compressed audio, right? This is the first game I'm doing that does not have that. Uh, the only audio in this game that will still be compressed is, like, the sound effects that are holdovers from the last game. Like, you know, all the, you know, the, the punchy sounds and the, you know, the shooting sounds. But all of the voice lines and all the music are going to be in, like, crisp HD. So, uh, you can look forward to that. And, um, and there's another update as, uh, as far as the game is concerned. Which is that, uh, Mr. Twitch Man, just to recap this whole situation for anybody who has not watched the previous videos. Uh, uh, one of the characters in this game I intend to have voiced by somebody who is a, a pretty large streamer on Twitch. I don't want to say that person's name because uh, I don't want to create any, any possibility of like a situation of public pressure on them, if you know what I mean by that. Uh, so I, 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 I'm not speaking about it publicly until this person has spoken with me like, very directly about it. But, but, um, basically, I talked with this person 
a year ago in their their offline Twitch chat uh, about them uh, about them playing a character in this game, and that was before even the first game released. So I, I've sort of been playing this for a while, and they basically said, "Yeah, I'll do that." Um, you know, send my mods something when you when you have it done, when you have like lines ready for me. And I'm like, okay. Uh, that didn't happen for a long time because uh, I was working on Banana Rig and also just my life was very hectic for all of 2022. Then uh, then that brought us to recently, uh, a little over a week ago, I finally did that. I finally messaged one of his mods. I'm like, hey, you know, uh, just just uh, let him know. I have all of the, you know, I have everything written out. Uh, anytime Mr. Twitch Man wants to record it, he can bang it all out in an afternoon. Uh, and they're like, okay, I'll let him know. I uh, hadn't heard anything, but I did check every day in the offline chat because I, I do that. I, I've kind of just made a habit of it. I check Twitch every day in case I, in case I've gotten a message back about it. And usually while I'm there, I go into the offline chat uh, just in case Mr. Twitch Streamer is uh, is there because sometimes he hangs around there. Um, and uh, basically, uh, today he was. And so uh, I was a little caught off guard by it, honestly. I wasn't really expecting it. Uh, but he showed up, and, and everyone was picking me, uh, like, hey, you know, he's here. So I, uh, I, uh, typed out a message, and I was basically like, hey, you know, uh, the regular me, we talked a year ago, blah, blah, blah. Uh, and, you know, kind of just concisely explained it. And, uh, he went, yeah, I remember that. And he said, uh, one of my mods in, in, in my Discord told me about that. Uh, and he, he basically said, uh, I'm gonna get back to you about that, because right now I'm, I'm busy, I'm really busy with my album, because this person is, uh, also a musician when they're not doing Twitch streaming stuff. Uh, so they, they, so from what I understand, basically, uh, they have an, an album that they're working on, a musical album, which is separate, and, uh, and once they're done working on that, uh, then they're going to, to get back to me, because he said that, he said, I will get back to you about that. And uh, I trust him. I think he will get back to me about that, and I'm looking very forward to it, and I'm willing to wait. It will definitely be worth it. Uh, pretty much the only hope I have for this game as far as release date is just that it comes out this year. Uh, obviously, the sooner the better, but I'm pretty sure, based on the, what little I do know about uh, this album, that it is planned to come out this year. So I'll probably still be able to make that goal, uh, which will be great, uh, you know, uh, like I said in the past, I honestly, probably by like June, and maybe even a little bit before then, uh, all of this game will probably be done from a coding perspective, from a writing perspective, and literally all I'll be waiting for is for this person to, to you know, get back to me and, and record their lines. Um, and if it happens before then, uh, anyways, then, you know, great, that also works out that I can basically just release it to whatever, but uh, chances are, it, you know, it'll probably, I'll probably be able to get it out this year. Uh, I, I, and it'll probably be later in the year, because, uh, you know, Mr. Twitch Streamer is really busy with his album, but, uh, once he's done with his album, he said he's, he's going to get back to me, which would be really, really great. It would basically make my life, <laughs> uh, because I really look up to this person a lot, and it, it would sort of be, like, a dream coming true for me if they actually, uh, end up in this game, which is why I'm waiting. Uh, so, yeah. That's pretty much the status of that. And, uh, just to be clear, um, this will probably be the only, uh, game that comes out this year from me. Uh, ever since about 2019, technically, even though I don't really count some of these anymore because they, uh, you know, were tied into my old YouTube show that was private for very good reasons. Um, <laughs> uh, then basically, uh, ever since 2019, I've sort of had this pattern that at least two games come out every year from me. Uh... And this year will probably break the four-year streak I've had going out of that. All right. In 2019, there was technically three games. There was Battery Chad Builder and Battery Chad Shock the World. And in 2020, there was um, Battery Chad Builder 2. And then another game that I, yeah, I'm not going to mention because you wouldn't know what it is. Uh, and then in 2021, there was Blood Knuckle 1 and Pelopacker 1. And then in 2022, there was Pelopacker 2 and Banana Rings. So 2023 will probably be Blood Knuckle 2. That's probably the only game that's going to come out for me this year, and that's probably the only game that's going to come out for me for a while, actually. 
uh, because first of all, the project I plan to start after Blood Knuckle 2 is a very big project that all of my other projects have kind of been building towards, and it's going to take me a long time to get it done. Uh, but the, the other thing is that uh, once Blood Knuckle 2 is out, uh, that is what I'm going to start working on everything I bought this green screen for, um, and I'm expecting that, you know, uh, those projects will probably take me until about 2024. I'll probably, I'll probably start releasing all that stuff, all of the stuff I'm going to make in front of my new green screen, all of that stuff will probably come out sometime in 2024. Uh, that's pretty much what I'm expecting. Uh, so, you know, and if I can, if I can get it out sooner, then sure, it's great, but I honestly, sincerely doubt that that will end up happening. So, uh, yeah. Um, so that's pretty much where I'm at right now. Uh, and I also probably won't be doing much of anything in April uh, with any of my projects, just because April is going to be a very hectic month, month for me. Uh, among other things, uh, the Super Mario Brothers movie comes out in April, and I have plans to see it five times in the theater. Uh, four of those times is going to be with someone, and one of those times is just going to be by myself. Um, but uh, one, one of those people uh, that I'm going to see the movie with is uh, my friend who I met down in Meaford when I lived there for a little while, who's actually going to be like taking a, uh, taking a trip uh, over here to come see me. And they live like four hours away. So that you know, that's like a really special occasion that I'm really looking forward to them coming up here and and uh, visiting for a while. Uh, and we're gonna see the movie, and it's gonna be great. And I I plan to see the movie with a bunch of other people because you know this this movie is very important to me. <laughs> I know uh, I know you probably can't tell because right now in this shot there you know uh, all of my uh, stuff is not visible, but uh, I, I'm I'm kind of a Mario fanatic, <laughs> uh, so I've been waiting for this movie for years. And uh, I, I'm really excited to see it. Uh, but that will, like, literally just that will probably consume the entire month of April for me. And that's fine. Uh, I'm kind of treating it the way I usually treat December, which is, you know, this month I'm going to have off. I'm just not, probably not going to work on any of my projects this month unless something happens to come into my head and I'm just like, I need to make this right now. Um, but unless that happens, I'm not going to force myself to, I'm not going to, you know, I'm not going to consider myself, you know, having to reach any sort of quota during the month of April. I'm pretty much going to take that month off for myself, enjoy five viewings of the Mario movie, and, uh, you know, enjoy my friend coming over to visit me. So, uh, so, you know, kind of unrelated, I know, but, uh, just, probably, you know, no one will probably be hearing from me very much during that month. Uh, at least other than, like, my, my close personal friends, you know, both of them. Anyways, um, that's pretty much it. That's pretty much, uh, all I can think of to give an update on right now. Um, so just to recap, uh, One Knuckle 2 is, is almost done. It's probably going to remain at the almost done stage for, <laughs> for a significant amount of this year. Uh, and I, I think I said this earlier, but I'm, I'm pretty sure, from what I understand, that uh, Mr. Twitch Streamer Man, that his album is scheduled to come out this year. So I'll, I'll, I'll and after that, he said he's going to get back to me. So I, I'm pretty much, I'm pretty much expecting that I'll, I'll at least be able to get the game out this year. I just don't know when. Uh, but, but that's fine. As long as it comes out this year, I'll be happy. Um, and, and honestly, however long I have to wait. Uh, for this person to, to get back to me, it, it will be worth it. Uh, it will, at the very least, it will be worth it to me. But I think it will be worth it to you, too. Um, so, uh, so there's that. Uh, game's almost done. Game will probably come out this year. Uh, once the game is done, then I'm going to start filming a bunch of projects in front of my brand new green screen, and that's probably also when I'll start dedicating a significant amount of time and energy to animating the Banana Ring animated film. And, uh, you know, all of that it kind of just ties into launching my, my Formula Fanboy Pictures division. And then, uh, and also I'm taking the month of April off. So that should pretty much recap everything that I have to say in this video. Uh, if you are a real-life human being that watched until this point, then thank you. I appreciate it. Uh, 
Uh, and I guess I will see you in the next one of these. Goodbye.